Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For the past eight years, we have been stuck in the slowest economic recovery in 70 years. With all the debate about the Financial Choice Act today, a simple question gets to the heart of the matter. Do we want to grow again? I contend, Mr. Speaker, the answer is, the answer has to be a resounding yes. It has to be yes because there's a moral imperative at play. The Choice Act is about ending a stagnant status quo that is crushing our economy and opportunity. Multiple studies show that the Dodd-Frank Act has hindered economic growth. One study estimates that because of the over-regulations we have seen since the 2008 financial crisis, there are 650,000 fewer small businesses than there otherwise would be, which would have provided 6.5 million jobs. That's 6.5 million people not utilizing their God-given talents for the betterment of society. That's 6.5 million people not paying the Social Security, Medicare, and income taxes that we need to fund critical programs. Some just want to raise taxes on the already burdened taxpayers. I say, let's get new taxpayers into the game. Having more taxpayers helps us to pay for programs for veterans, education, medical research to find cures for diseases like Alzheimer's and cancer, taxpayers to help fund the national defense. A couple of weeks ago, I visited a senior senator in my, dist senior center, center in my district and had some very special conversations. Folks told me about the days when there were lots of jobs in the factory towns in western Pennsylvania, and one World War II veteran showed me his Bronze Star. These individuals are counting on us to allow an economy to grow that will create, create the taxpayers who can help pay for the critical programs that support them, that pay for their care. We have a moral obligation, Mr. Speaker, to restore healthy growth to this economy. Today, let's pass the Choice Act. Let's move from over-regulation to right-sized regulation. Let's unclog, unclog the flow of capital to small businesses. Let's unclog consumers' access to credit. Let's lower the cost of financial services for everyday consumers. Let's bring an end to the anti-growth policies of the last eight years and move into a much brighter, more prosperous future for everyone. I thank the speaker, and I yield back.